since the holidays are on the way I have to organize a couple of spots in my home and I will walk you through the methods I like to use as I'm organizing Are you guys excited for the upcoming Christmas season? I am <laughs> and I want to do some decorating but before I do that I have to fix some areas in my home and I need to organize them and reorganize them. Things that get used just gets messy. <laughs> That's part of the creation so I'm going to work on that today. But before that I want to sprinkle just a little bit of a Christmas mood on my table before I start to work on that. Come on in, come on up, come on over. Cooking, baking and art. This is where I get the most creative and it has a price. I make a huge mess. So before all this holiday season starts, I like to go through on all the food that I have in the pantry, checking the labels and sort of just taking notes what I have together for the baking and such. The system that I created for storing the food, I will share it with you and it has been working really well. And I will share with you in steps how I organize my pantry. So take your neighbor by the hand and join the dance parade before the clock strikes and it's all. Pulling down everything and I start to clean off the shelves and this is when the kitchen starts to look like when a drug one just puked in there <laughs> it's just stuff everywhere so I like to create a basket where I like to set aside the things that I have to use up shortly or they've been just scattering around so it's a good reminder for me to use them up and all the light weight like the pasta and noodles and then the tortilla chips those are big bulky items but pretty light with weight so those are gonna be on the top shelf and I have other uh, bulk items like this bone broth powder which I use very often but these are the refills so I'm going to put those into the crate as well and as for the everyday use I have this storage box and I just separate the chicken from the beef one and this is gonna go on the lower shelf labeling items that are higher on the shelf and we cannot see what's in the box it's very helpful not just for me but as for my family as well the heavier items like beans and oatmeal and lentils they are going on the bottom and they kind of like a like item like dried goods so they're gonna be fine in one same box and this is where I like to gather all those items that are on the sale and I know they are a staple I'm trying to keep my pantry as simple as possible so that way it doesn't get too chaotic for 
my brain <laughs> and I can get more creative. The other thing I changed in this area is I created a tea corner and this is for my friends. When they're going to come over, we're going to have an easier time to find the tea and they can just have themselves from there because it's all gonna be on one shelf and I went with the size where I don't have to keep all the backups so all the tea is in there so I see the amount and what kind of teas I have I'm all yours and I can hardly wait come along start the show having fun in the Continuing with the pantry cleanup in the early morning. So this is a backup box for me. If unexpectedly I have to prepare something fast or either the boys can do it because it's very easy. I scored these amazing meals at grocery outlet and they taste really good and the ingredients are good so with some cooked rice it's a perfect meal if I need something fast a quick break as I got hungry more backup items these are the canned goods and I eat just going to put them in one storage because they are all alike another useful item that I purchased over the summer from Amazon are these silica packages and I dehydrated so many vegetables and spices over the summer and as I put them into the jar I used these packages and also I have these powders I don't like to use any artificial coloring so I play a lot with these powders they are so much fun they have very intense colors they adding nutrition to the food this is the only thing I don't like to put into a jar I find that it stays fresh longer if I keep in this bag and it keeps them dark so they keep their color and flavor and I'm just adding some of this silica packages so it will stay fresh longer I squeeze out the air I roll them back and I just fix them with a close pin another big step that helped me so much with this organizing before I had to take down all these boxes and I had a hard time to locate which one I need because they were all alike but I was looking for specific colors so for right now I'm going to separate them into color groups like green yellow pink so that way I'm going to locate them faster when I need them I like to keep some bee wax in my pantry because if I add this to the chocolate it makes it more shiny. Mm -hmm. I have a couple of jars of leftover nuts and I need a space in the jar and also there is not much that I can do with these. So I'm going to make a trail mix out of it. This is a dried papaya and I'm going to use that one too.
I love these big gallon sized storage jars because I can have a decent amount in there and I like to keep the most used items in there and I like to have rice, lentils, pasta, chips, popcorn, coconut flakes and all sorts of flowers that I have. It makes me more creative that I'm seeing the actual food instead of just the box and I have a better idea about the amount I have. One load is done, so I'm going to quickly fold them away. finished in the kitchen but I'm going to step away for a little bit I have all these keychains with my design so it will be a limited edition in a way of packaging because <laughs> these boxes are cute but it's a lot of work to put them together and box them in there so I will have more of these but in these boxes I'm only going to have a certain amount on my website I decided on these cute boxes because it makes a perfect Christmas present because it just makes them more cute and they are live on the website if you want to check them out The new tables have arrived and Jod put them together so <laughs> we usually do a different route when we trying to buy something so we made it cheaper in a way that we ordered just the bottom we find a great deal on that and then we just bought the top separately and Jod put it on so that way it was way cheaper and I have nice tables where I can either sit or I can stand. I had an idea I have this box and I used to keep some essential oils in there and I love the fact that I can separate and organize them so they have a space to live <laughs> but uh, I couldn't find the right spot for this box because uh, it was in the way everywhere and I want the oils to be handy and if I put it into the drawer I have to pull them out and then I have to open the box and I want to organize in a way that where I just have to reach with one touch so I just pull out the insert and I'm going to place this into this divider I love this divider so much because I can adjust that and as I'm putting things into the drawer everything has its place and as I'm opening them and closing them they don't roll up and down in the drawer everything stays on its place Cookie cutters got their own place so that way I get to see actually the shape so it's easier to find them.
well I'm still not done in the kitchen <laughs> and also I'm planning other areas to tidy up but the Sun is out and that remind me that I have some beans that I need to harvest right now because the freezing temperatures are on the way so they will get ruined if I don't harvest them now I was able to find some parsley and some raspberries and a couple of other things from my garden Once I'm inside, it's hard to get out. But once I'm out, it's hard to get inside. <laughs> I had another idea to decorate. <laughs> one thing leads to the other one. I realized I need to cover the grill. And that was the fat bucket that I dropped. Yeah. I think the beige pants cost for that. <laughs> Last year I stuffed a bunch of branches into the window box and I'm gonna do this year too because they worked very well. Back into the kitchen, finishing up the drawer organizing. When I fold things, sometimes I like to use a box as a guide so that way I know how wide I should fold them. But as of right now, I'm not going to use any box because I have the divider, but I'm aiming for the same width. reset to the drawer as I'm putting away things from the dishwasher. I have to dry the beans and put the celery and parsley into water. After tackling that beast in my kitchen, <laughs> I'm going to tackle the next one and that would be the area where I like to do my art. Science, the way I choose to package these items, <laughs> it's kind of time consuming. I'm trying to find pockets of times, so I'm going to do a little bit of packaging before I start to organize in the laundry room where I have this cozy area where I do my art. on stuff it's a clear message 
and while I'm a little bit overwhelmed with this corner at the moment, it gives me so much joy at the same time. So, but I don't want to put too much effort into organizing the things. I could make it better, but I don't want to since I literally have just a few weeks before I move into the studio. So I have to really consider where I put my time. So I'm going to make it work for today. I'm going to clean off the table, putting away the things and just tackling all those items that I use the most often so they are more accessible and I can't help it I'm getting ideas <laughs> that would make a nice lamp so I have these nice papers once I have my studio up it will be so much easier when I have designated areas for different tasks For next, now that all the tables are clean, <laughs> I'm going to work on my shadow boxes. These will be limited additions as well. It takes a lot of work to put them together. So I figured I'm just going to make a certain amount. I don't know how many of you guys want this or not. It's hard to estimate. So I will just have a certain amount. If you are interested, it's up on my website by this video goes up. And to continue a little tidy up, I'm going to organize the envelopes, cutting up some thank you cards. Thank you so much for staying until the end i appreciate you very much and if you enjoyed this video i hope to see you in the next one bye